Welcome to the season of deep passion and deep emotions. We officially kick off Scorpio season as of October 22nd. It is going to run until November the 21st. So just want to start off by saying happy birthday to all the beautiful Scorpios out there. You deeply passionate, deeply emotional, beautiful souls. This is going to be a very interesting Scorpio season, a really awesome Scorpio season, in my opinion, because of the lineup that I was just looking at. I'm going to do a very quick overview of Scorpio season itself uh, and just kind of give you some main dates of when some big astrological shifts are taking place so that you can kind of navigate this Scorpio season with more ease, more joy, and so that you have an understanding of what to pay attention to what to do more of, what to do less of, because there are going to be some energies that are going to bring a lot of intensity and having the heads up about it is just going to help you navigate it better. So let's hop right into it. So right off the bat, I just want to start off by saying that your instincts are going to be really heightened over Scorpio season. So over the next four weeks, really pay attention to your instincts, to your intuition, because it's going to speak to you and it's going to speak to you aloud. It might even be screaming at you. So <laughs> there are going to be some changes, some different things you're going to have to do and really pay attention to where your intuition is guiding you at this time, because this is going to allow you to understand your heart on a whole nother level. Like I'm talking on a deep level, like Scorpio is deep and it wants you to go deep. It wants you to really feel your emotions and it wants you to really be tuned into them and understand them and listen to them. This is going to bring a ton of emotional growth for you, a ton of transformation when it comes to the emotional landscape of your life. And this Scorpio season isn't like messing around. Like it's definitely bringing us a lot of truth, a lot of honesty, a lot of information that is going to allow us to step out of situations that are not in alignment, situations that are really emotionally draining. So you're potentially already going to feel like you're just at the end of the rope with certain emotional strains. Like there are things like situations or people that are draining you emotionally and you're going to feel like you're really, really done with that, which is really awesome, right? Scorpio with its little um, choppers there <laughs> wants you to cut something away. It wants you to cut things out of your life, cut people, places, situations, circumstances out of your life that emotionally drain you, okay? Because there's such an emphasis on feelings and emotions and because Scorpio is such a watery sign and intuitive sign, it really, really wants you to like, check in, like pay attention to that and, and stop ignoring the, the heavyweights, right? The things that are really, really weighing you down emotionally. So you might already even instinctually feel that you just want out of emotionally draining situations and connections. Now, when it comes to this, I really want to urge you to, again, trust yourself, trust your intuition, move with your own pace, move with your own flow. You don't need to rush anything, you know, really take some time to think it through to be very certain about this, the next steps that you want to take, because that's really what Scorpio is highlighting for us this season is it wants us to get very clear on what's next because so many things are ending because so many things are going to be leaving your life. Having that plan in place is going to be very important. So that you can remain grounded, so that you can feel solid and sure within your decisions, within the choices that you're making for yourself at this time, and with the changes that you're making at this time. But you are 100% going to notice that you are not going to be able to sit with certain energies anymore. There's just expired, outdated situations or things that have been like stretching for a long period of time that have been really draining for a long period of time. You're just going to be like, no, I'm out. Like, I'm done. Like, you're not going to be able to keep go going with it. Not in Scorpio season, baby. Not in Scorpio season. On November 1st, we have a beautiful new moon in the sign of Scorpio, of course. And this new moon is really, really going to heighten your intuition. It's really going to heighten your desires, too. So this is going to give you massive clarity on how to move forward, uh, what you want to move forward to. And those deep desires that are coming from like the depths of your soul, that's what this new moon is going to trigger uh, and probably bring to the surface for you. So passion, power, seduction, intrigue, sexuality, all of these things are going to be on the forefront right now in Scorpio season. So get ready to feel things really intensely. And as we enter into Scorpio season, it's like it's giving us this green light saying that permission has now been granted to go deep, 
because depth is really where this sign's juice lies. It's like Scorpio is all about the depth. It is all about, you know, getting really, really deep into the self, getting really deep into a connection, getting really deep into some kind of passion. It's super connected to passion. So this could be some kind of a project, some kind of an art thing, some, some work related something, a passion that you're going to dive significantly deeper on. And I'll get into like the work stuff in a minute, but this is bringing all of this up to the surface and this is so exciting i have goosebumps as i'm talking about it because i can feel the energy already how much it's activating the creativity it's activating sacral chakra okay so uh scorpio season is connected to the sacral chakra very very deeply and the sacral chakra is your emotions and that's where your passion lies and that's also of course where sexuality is that's why scorpios are highly sexual sign right they <laughs> They love sex, they love intimacy, they love passion, they they love to love, ultimately, okay? So Scorpio season kind of brings that out for all of us, right? This love to love energy and this desire to feel that more uh, with another person. So really make sure that you're giving yourself permission to feel your feelings deeply, right? It's like hold space for them, honor those feelings, allow yourself to go really deep when it comes to your emotions. And allow whatever feelings want to arise from within you at this time to arise. Just give them space, you know, let them move through you. Scorpio also has this energy about it that it literally won't stop until it completely unpacks some type of situation. So it's going to be bringing that energy out of us as well, of course. And uh, this, again, can be channeled into work and into creativity it can also be channeled into relationship it's like getting to the bottom of something right getting to the bottom of that project or or some kind of information that is missing for a project or getting to the bottom of that connection that conversation that um, situation that you're in with another person that really needs resolution at this time that really needs to be looked at and dealt with scorpio wants you to get to the bottom of things so it's going to inspire you to do that there's no sign quite like Scorpio that is so willing to sit with uncomfortable insights to find, you know, penetrating truths, to find truths that are really meaningful. Scorpio is really willing to do that. It, it likes to sit <laughs> in that sort of darker, heavier energy, but it, it does so with a deep sense of purpose. So Scorpio doesn't care how uncomfortable some kind of information is as long as it has truth within it because Scorpio absolutely loves truth and wants truth and loyalty from another. So as long as there is truth in it, it is willing to sit with uncomfortable information. It's willing to look at it, to digest it, to you know process it. So this energy, again, is just activating within us, right? Whatever the seasons are doing, whatever the signs are doing, whatever the energies are doing, that's what we're doing essentially on the inside, right? So this could be a time where you're willing to hear the truth at this point, as long as it brings some kind of resolution to whatever's going on. Scorpio season also stirs up this irresistible mix of depth, mystery, and confidence. So it's going to bring the depth and the confidence out of us. It's going to bring it forward. And it's also going to bring this, this sense of mystery, this intrigue, this desire to know more. So this is a really, really good time to do research. It's a really good time to get more information or more insight about something that you're working on or perhaps a business idea that you have that you wanted to launch. It's just a great time to dig deep on all kinds of different things. And simultaneously, you're also going to have the confidence to go for it. It's like this season really use it to your advantage because this season is going to offer you this powerful confidence that you can tap into within yourself and that confidence is going to bring you some kind of a result some kind of positive result so it's like allow that confidence to really move through you and take charge you know take action with it don't let it go to waste now I want to talk about a couple of dates here that are important transits that I mentioned earlier in the video, beginning with November 2nd. So like I said, November 1st, actually, we have that new moon in Scorpio, which is going to be awesome. And then we have Mercury moving into Sagittarius on November the 2nd. And Mercury moving into Sag is awesome because Mercury 
the planet of communication and Sagittarius being the bold, unfiltered communicator is going to amplify bold, direct communication. So November 2nd is a really good day to like have conversations, uh, especially conversations that require <laughs> you to be a little bit more bold. Obviously use caution and be respectful, but it is a really, really good time for that. On November 3rd, Mars is actually going to be amplifying its energy in the sign of Leo which is going to boost your confidence and your passions. So this is going to be this energy of like, yeah, I'm really ready to like move more directly into my passions, move more directly and connect with the things that I'm passionate about and take action on them. Then on November 11th, Venus is going to shift into Capricorn. And this is going to, of course, Capricorn, the hardworking sign, Venus, the planet of love. The two of them come together asking you to really work for what you love most. So this is asking you to like put work into something that you really, really love. Be willing to do the work, whatever it takes. And I mentioned whatever it takes in yesterday's video. If you didn't see that, I will link it uh, at the end of this video. Actually, you're going to see it there. So you can uh, check that out too. And that one was about going all in. This going all in energy, I can really see how it's like a theme that's just sort of continuously going to be playing out through Scorpio season as well. So it's like time to go all in on your passions, on something that you really, really love. On November 15th, Saturn is finally turning direct in the sign of Pisces, ending its pretty long retrograde journey that began on June the 30th. And Saturn turning direct in the sign of Pisces brings a time of contemplation and reflection. So it wants us to really take a look at how we want to move forward, how we want to invest our time, our energy, our love, our effort into something or someone. On November 15th, we're going to have a full moon in the sign of Taurus. And this is going to put the, the need for pleasure on the forefront of the heart. So this is where the heart's desire is going to be amplified and is going to really, really light up so that you can connect to it and figure out what it is that does bring you pleasure and what is or who is that thing that activates that desire within you. On November 19th, we're going to have Pluto re-entering Aquarius once again. And this is going to push us to evolve with the times, meaning that anything that is outdated in your life, anything that needs to be upgraded or needs to evolve in your life, whether this is a mindset, your habits, your uh, self-care habits, what you know, how you nurture yourself, take care of yourself, how you perceive, how you look at the world, how you look at yourself, right? It's asking us to really upgrade that, to become more innovative when it comes to our perceptions and when it just in general comes to your own personal evolution. This Scorpio season is really asking you to look beneath the surface, to really be willing to go deep within yourself so that you can unearth truths about yourself, about your needs, about your wants, your desires, your ideas that you perhaps didn't tap into in the past. And as you are tapping in and you're getting uh, inspiring ideas or different um, truths, you know, being revealed, it's very important to also kind of keep this stuff to yourself at this time. It's very fragile. It's very new information even for you, right? So it's important to keep it to yourself, especially when it comes to different projects or goals and progress that you are making with those. Keep those to yourself at this time so that you can just prevent any negative energy or any jealous energy or anything like that from, you know, interfering energetically with these plans, with these projects. Now, this Thursday, October the 24th, Mars is going to be sextiling Uranus, and this is going to give you a major boost when it comes to handling the hardest tasks on your to-do list by inspiring you to get out of your comfort zone. So take advantage of this energy this Thursday and definitely check off some hard, difficult tasks on your to-do list because you're going to have not only the confidence, but you're going to have just a boost of energy and a boost of surety within yourself to get it done. And something to keep in mind, because Scorpio season does tend to inspire vulnerability, right? So it, it because it is such an emotional sign, it allows us to become more emotional and to become more vulnerable. So when you are being vulnerable and when you are sharing, just be very, very mindful who you are sharing with, what you are sharing. So be very selective and be very respectful when you are sharing information, just to keep things to yourself that need to be kept to yourself and to make sure that you are 
creating balance as you are sharing and as you are being vulnerable and just making sure that you're not saying things to people, you know, vulnerable things that people that don't necessarily deserve to hear it or people that don't need to hear it. Now, on the other hand, the fearless, edgy energy of Scorpio season is going to help you to burn something away from your life. So this is like this, this no more fear, and I'm just getting rid of this, I'm ending this cycle. So it's going to bring that forth too, which is awesome, helping you to transform yourself, helping you to transform your lifestyle or your life in some kind of way. And when it comes to self care, I just want to mention a few things here. So be very mindful that Scorpio season can cause emotional burnout, because it is so intense, it is so deep, it is so passionate and so all consuming that it can lead to emotional burnout, to paranoia, and even to jealousy. So just remember, <laughs> stay balanced. Do not compare your life or your journey or your transformation or your anything to anybody else's. You are on your own path. And that's very, very important to keep in mind that comparison is absolutely pointless. And it's only going to put you into the negative aspects of Scorpio. So stay out of that energy completely, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And just to counter all of this emotion and to balance yourself out through Scorpio season, self care is going to be like a non negotiable. So keep that in mind, make self care a non negotiable, salt baths, steam rooms, saunas, all kinds of things, you know, water related swimming um, are going to be very helpful, very beneficial to wash things away to help clear out these emotions, taking walks down by the lake or out in the forest, even to ground yourself to level yourself out is going to be very helpful, especially when like the deep, more intense emotions arise within you. Even cold plunges and cold showers are going to be very beneficial, very helpful to stimulate and simultaneously regulate your nervous system. So try those out for self care during the next four weeks of Scorpio season to help you just balance and regulate. Now, Scorpio season can be a very, very productive period, especially if you harness this energy correctly and use it to your advantage. Like I said, innovation, a lot of new ideas and passions are going to be stirring within you. So really take advantage of that and zero in on your most important goals. The stamina of Mars and the strategy of Pluto are really going to help you and support you through this Scorpio season to achieve your desired aim. So why not go all in? right? And in yesterday's video, I talked about going all in, check that out, it'll be linked at the end of this video, doing anything less would be completely unacceptable. So go for it. Have an awesome Scorpio season. Happy birthday to all my Scorpios out there. Much love to you all. Thank you so much for watching. Hit a like on your way out, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.